Hi and welcome back to Loopy Mabel Vintage Style Crochet. My name is Jane and thank you to all my lovely subscribers and if you're new here welcome and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you love vintage style crochet then this is the perfect channel for you and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous crochet baby bonnet it's just reminiscent of days gone by, really old fashioned, quaint looking vintage style bonnet. Really simple and I'm going to show you how easy it is in a step by step tutorial. So why not join me and let's do some crochet. Right, so in today's tutorial I'm going to be using drops, muscat, Mercerized cotton yarn. It's a hundred percent cotton. This is a gorgeous caramelized Vintage creamy butterscotch color and it, this is shade number 23 if you wanted to use exact same yarn this has um, 109 yards and it's a 50 gram ball and a 50 gram ball is more than enough to do the bonnet that we're making today which is not to three months and there is a PDF pattern that you can also download which has not to three months right up to child size so if you wanted to do other sizes you can get all the instructions for that in the PDF pattern so let's make a start you'll also need uh, four millimeter crochet hooks and darning needles to sew on your ends, a stitch marker if it helps you to locate the stitches at the beginning of your rows and some scissors. You don't have to use this yarn, any double knit, knit yarn would be suitable but obviously I've used a soft cotton because it's just perfect for little babies heads but you could use any double knit yarn. Right so we're going to start off and create a magic ring so if you're not sure how to do this I do have a tutorial that you can have a quick look at beforehand if you're not sure or familiar with this so there's our magic circle and we're going to chain two and then this doesn't count as a stitch and then we're going to go down into that magic circle and do 12 trebles so yarn over down through that ring yarn over pull through yarn over pull through so we're going to do 12 of these into our magic circle or magic ring so if you want to do 12 trebles and I shall see you when you're finished so I've got my 12 there and we're not going to slip stitch to join we're going to then work our way on to round two so we're going to work one treble into the next stitch so into our first treble that we did we're going to yarn over and go straight into the top of that first treble that we did insert our hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and then we're going to insert our stitch marker here and then we know where that round started just pull your tail there and it will tighten up the center there so we've done one treble into that first one and then into the same stitch we're going to work another treble so back down to that very same stitch work another treble and then we're going to work two trebles into the next and then two trebles into the next and we're going to do this all the way around working two trebles into every stitch so we shall have 24 stitches at the end of this round so if you want to pause the video and do two trebles in every stitch and I'll see you somewhere near the stitch marker so I've just got one last stitch there to go so I'm just going to do the two trebles to finish off this round so we've got 24 stitches and we're not going to close a round with a slip stitch we're going to go into the next treble like we did in the last round so we're going to take our stitch marker out and we're going to insert our hook into that stitch and work a treble 
then replace, reinsert your stitch marker and then work another treble into that same stitch so two trebles into that first stitch and then we're going to work a one treble into the next and then into the next stitch we're going to work two trebles and then one stitch into the next and then two into the next so if you want to continue on working one treble, two treble, one treble, two treble all the way along and I shall see you somewhere near the stitch marker so I'm down to my last two stitches there so I just need to do two trebles in this one And one treble in the last so you should have one treble in your last stitch like so and we're now going to go work into that stitch where the stitch marker is so if you just take your stitch marker out and for round four one treble into that first stitch and just place our stitch marker again just so we know where that round ends and then we're just going to go down to the same stitch and work another treble so we've got two trebles in that first stitch and then we're going to work a treble into the next stitch and then a single treble into the next stitch and then we're going to work two trebles into the next and then one treble into the following two Like so. so this row we're going to two trebles into the next stitch then a single treble, a single treble then two trebles into the next stitch so if you want to work all the way around and I shall see you somewhere near the stitch marker and we'll go on to round five so I've just got last three stitches to do so I just need to do two trebles into the next and then a single into the following two so you should now have 48 stitches so if you want to double check that you've got your 48 stitches and you should have finished off with two single trebles there so we're going to work round five so I just need to take your stitch marker out and we're going to work into that stitch there and work a treble insert your stitch marker and we're going to work another treble into that same stitch so we've got two into our first stitch there and then we're going to work a treble into the next three stitches so single treble into the following three stitches so one two and three so one and then we're going to work two trebles into the next so one and two and then three single trebles into the following three so one and two three and then two into the next so we're going to repeat this all the way around so a single treble into the following three then two treble into the next so if you repeat that all the way around and I'll just see you somewhere near the stitch marker and then we'll go on to working the main body of the bonnet from there on so I shall see you somewhere around about here so I've got a last few stitches to do so I just need to do my two trebles into that stitch and then followed by three single trebles into the remaining three stitches and you should now have 60 stitches so we've completed the crown of the hat now 
so you should have 60 stitches from here on so what we're going to do is now we're going to remove our stitch marker and we're just going to slip stitch into that stitch just to close the crown part off and that should be your crown should be looking something like that so we're going to work on to the main body now right so we're going to chain one which doesn't count as a stitch and we're going to half treble back down into that stitch and we're going to count back six stitches from from there so not the one we just worked in six stitches one two three four five and six so we're going to insert our stitch marker into that sixth one and that's where we're going to work round two when we come around now we're going to skip one and we're going to work two trebles chain one double crochet into that stitch there so yarn over skip one two trebles chain one and a double crochet into that same stitch and now we're going to skip two one two and then work two trebles chain one and then double crochet into that same stitch so skip two then work two then work two trebles one two chain one and double crochet and double crochet into that stitch so skip two then two trebles chain one double crochet and just repeat that all the way around so skip two then two trebles chain one double crochet skip two two trebles chain one double crochet all the way around until we come to that stitch marker and I shall see you there so I'm just near the stitch marker so I've just got to skip two and work that last pattern stitch so two trebles chain one double crochet so now we should be at the stitch marker which is exactly where we need to be so we just need to take the stitch marker out and we're going to skip one and we're going to half treble so you should now have four one two three four four stitches and we're not going to work those stitches from now on we're going to leave them and that's going to be part of the back of the bonnet there so we're just going to leave them now and so from now on we're going to turn on every row so we're just going to chain one and we're going to turn and that chain one does not count as a stitch yeah so we're going to do a half treble into that first stitch yarn over and pull through all three and just insert your stitch marker here and we're going to go now work into that space created from the chain one part of that stitch remember we did two trebles chain one double crochet so you've got the chain space so we're going to insert our our hook into those spaces throughout now so yarn over insert your hook and work two trebles chain one and then double crochet all back down into that same space then we're going to go into the next one two trebles chain one and then double crochet so just repeating that all the way along two trebles into that space chain one and double crochet So you're going to repeat that all the way along, working it into that chain one space in every stitch pattern there. And we're going to work all the way along to the last stitch, which we ignore those four, and we're going to work 
to the last stitch so if you want to work your pattern all the way along and I shall see you somewhere around about here before we finish off the last pattern section and I'll show you how to finish off that row and then I'll explain how to continue on for the rest of the bonnet. Right I've got to the last pattern repeat of this round so I'm just going to insert my hook into that space and work two trebles chain one and double crochet and I'm just going to half treble into the last stitch the V shape there of that stitch so we're just going to half treble into that stitch there and half treble and that's row two and we're just going to repeat row two which is what we've just done all the way around until we've got 10 rows of this pattern so we need to do another eight more rows of this pattern so what we need to do is chain one and turn and then we're going to do a half treble in that first stitch and just place your stitch marker And then we're just going to continue on like the last row, which is working into that space, the chain space, two trebles, chain one, and then a double crochet. So into the next space, two trebles, chain one, then double crochet. So just going to repeat that all the way around, working into that chain one space in between the two trebles and the double crochet that we created, working the same pattern repeat, so it's two trebles, chain one, double crochet all the way around until you come to the last pattern repeat, do your pattern repeat and then we're going to half treble into that last stitch on the end of the row and repeat that round now until you've got a total of 10 rounds of this pattern. So if you want to work all the way backwards and forwards for a total of 10 pattern rows and I shall see you somewhere near the end of that 10th row and I'll show you how to then finish off and then we'll go on to doing the ties. So I've just come to the last section of this 10th row so I'm just going to finish off. Chain one and double crochet and then just a half treble into that last stitch there. So I'm just going to cut the yarn and just pull it through like so and just pull the yarn through and just need to turn the hat the right way through and there we've got the bonnet shape form there. So now we're just going to make some cute little ties and then our bonnet will be complete. So to make the ties, so to make the ties all we're going to do is make our slip knot and we're going to chain 42. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So if you want to continue on until we've got 42 chains and I'll show you what we're going to do next. Right so we've got our 42 chains and what we're going to do is we're going to attach our yarn to the bottom of the bonnet so you need to have the front side of the bonnet facing you. You need it facing you like that and we're going to insert our hook into that first stitch of that round and then we're going to pull through and work a double crochet and we're going to pick up evenly along with double crochet so just evenly work your way along Set your hook and just double crochet evenly long. And 
and then pick up the four stitches that you've got at the back the ones that we didn't work and then just continue along the other side just picking up the stitches just evenly and then just ensure you pick up the last stitch there and now we're going to continue with chaining but we want to chain 43 41, 42, 43 and then we're going to go down into the second chain from our hook so not the first one, the second one insert our hook and do a double crochet and we're just going to insert our hook all the way along this chain now doing double crochet, working all the way back down this chain just insert your hook and double crochet ok so I've got to the end of that first tie there so we're just going to pick up the double crochets that we did on the way when we worked it around so you're just going to insert your hook and just continue around those stitches that you picked up working double crochet so you should now have the inside of the hat facing you this is the inside so just going to work all the way along picking up those double crochets along the edge of the bonnet and then all the way along the edge of that, that tie which is at the beginning and then we're just going to fasten off there So if you want to continue on like so, I shall see you somewhere near the end of this tie when we're ready to fasten off. I've just come to the end of that tie, so I'm just going to finish off with a couple more double crochets. Last one there to that last stitch. And there we go. And I'm just going to trim the yarn. And all you need to do is pull that through to secure it. And then I just like to do a double knot just to tighten that. And you're just going to thread, weave your needle, and then back up to secure. And then just trim the arm. And then just repeat with the second one and sew in your ends and there you have your finished baby bonnet. Well I hope you enjoyed today's video, if you did please don't forget to give me that thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed please hit that subscribe button and then you'll be kept up to date with all of my tutorials, all my videos, all my new designs that I do bring out you'll be kept up to date and in the loop so you must hit that subscribe button. If there's anything that you'd like to ask me pop your comments in the box below and I will get back to you I absolutely promise you on that. Is there a tutorial that you'd like me to do for you then let me know and I shall certainly put it on my list and please please check out my latest videos on how to make the crochet this crochet ruffle collar that's really simple to do and so effective as you can see there is a PDF pattern for this if you'd like to download that too you will find that in the link below but as I always say until the next time please take care happy crochet